Welcome back to my channel. Today's video was specifically made for those that have earned residency spots in the United States and will be starting residency training coming July 1st. Congratulations. You coming this far in life did not just happen by chance. It took hard work, it took discipline, and reaching this far requires all that attributes to get you through the next few years of your training. My father is a draftsman and a builder by profession. My mother was a seamstress and a trader by profession. Both did all they could with the help of family and friends to raise someone who has become a pillar of medicine in the family. And that person is no other than me. Dr. Frederick Aqua is my name. Currently, I'm a second year internal medicine resident in New Jersey. Coming this far in my training without having any background of medicine in my family required me to be disciplined, to follow principles, and heeding to advice that were given to me by people who were already in that field. Well, in today's video, what I did was I put together some PGY1, PGY2 residents who have gathered their words of wisdom and have infused it in this video for your benefit. All that we're trying to do is to get you ready for your training coming July 1st. For those that were not able to get on camera, this is what they want you to know. One, they want you to take a vacation. Make sure you enjoy the few weeks that you have left before you start residency. They also want you to spend as much time as possible with family and friends before residency begins. For those that want to get a head start, look up Online Meded. Uh, on his website, there are some videos for interns. Um, for those going into family medicine, internal medicine, I think those videos are beneficial and it will help you get a head start before you start July 1st. Without much ado, let's get ready and listen to what these residents have to say. Let's go. few tips for all the incoming residents, something I wish I was told maybe earlier. Really challenge yourself. There's a lot of opportunities, especially to gain that hands-on experience here. And, you know, ask for the, those opportunities. Ask to do the paracentesis, ask to do the thoracentesis. Get in there whenever there's a code, even if it's not your patient, because that's the best learning environment. The more you observe, the more comfortable you'll feel. Um, another thing is, which I often lose track of, is um, just to be grateful. Grateful for this experience, grateful for being part of this team, and grateful for um, you know having this opportunity to really care for these people that are in need. And in the end, I mean, if you do it right, you'll feel it. So one of the biggest things that I would say is honestly, just show up, have a great attitude. Intern year is gonna be rough at times. You're gonna have some rotations that are harder, some rotations that are easier. But as long as you come into work every day with a great attitude, you'll be fine. Intern year is all about, you know, your first steps of learning how to become a doctor. In medical school, you learn how to take tests. Residency is where you come to learn how to be a doctor. I can strongly say that, you know, within these past seven months of intern year, my knowledge has tremendously increased. And again, it's just all about having a great attitude. You're gonna be having some rotations where you're hitting that 80 hour work limit. And then there's gonna be other rotations where you have weekends off, you're able to get out early. It's all about your mentality. If you go in with the attitude of, you know what, whatever it is, I'm gonna handle my business, you'll be fine. If you're one of those people that goes in and you're a little bit pessimistic, then it might be a little harder. So like I said, that's the biggest thing. And definitely try to study a little bit each day. You got step three that you gotta take. That's something that you don't want to play around with. They've changed step three a little bit, made it a little harder. So those are the biggest things that I would say. Have a great attitude, don't be lazy, and make sure you study a little bit every day. Till next time, Dr. Aquanasi. So my advice to any incoming interns is, A, always know the cafeteria schedule is the back of your hand, very important, uh, and B, don't forget to do something for yourself after work, before work, on the weekends. Don't lose your hobbies, that's important because work is work, but 
life is what you take with you and what keeps you going. And good luck. You must establish a good routine in terms of what you do in the morning and also what you do in the afternoon, follow up with your patient, follow up with lab values that are set in the afternoon. Another thing is establishing a good relationship with your seniors, with your peers, and also with your attending. Uh, build a good trust with the auxiliary staff that includes the nurses, the secretaries, um, the tech. Another thing also is to have a, a study schedule, roughly, uh, to the best of your ability. Just keep that in mind. Um, attempt questions every day. Um, another thing also is good to have a sleep schedule. That's another thing that's also very necessary to the best of your ability. Uh, it, it, it would appear impossible and it's still impossible for me. But the idea every day is to get a good amount of sleep, maybe five hours, um, give and take. The other thing I'll say, to be honest with you, be yourself. Uh, that's another thing. Be yourself. And I don't like when people say that to me, but be yourself in the sense of man it um try to get who you are out there to people so that they can respect you um and not like um you know respect you in a sense where people want to work with you people are looking forward to work with you where despite the work being challenging people actually want to like oh yeah i want to work in icu with so and so because they're excited that you're going to learn from them and they're going to learn from you all right overall that's pretty much it and uh stay strong stay motivated and Again, all these things I'm saying right now are things you're going to do in a span of your time as an intern. But if you're not going to do it in a month, you're not going to do it in two months. It's going to be a day-by-day -day thing. It's going to get hard. It's going to get tough. But always rely on people you can learn from and people you can teach. And you'll be successful. So the advice that I would give to incoming residents is uh, to be patient with yourself. It's a learning experience, so it's okay to take things day-by-day -day at times. It's a challenging experience, but try to enjoy the journey as much as you can. Also, don't forget to take time for yourself and have that work-life balance. Uh, also, having a good support system. Oh, if I have any advice to give any of you guys, uh, would be that um, you guys come in, you know, you guys are going to be overwhelmed um, with the amount of patients, you know, nurses, you know, learning the new electronic health system. But at the end of the day, you know, we're all here. We've all been through this together. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask you guys. You know, you guys worked so hard throughout med school. Um, I think one thing is, you know, make sure you know your patients, you know, get a good history, do a good physical. You know, those are skills that you're going to learn um, and throughout um, residency, even throughout um, what you guys pursue going forward. There's going to be um, some tough moments in intern year. And there may be times when you doubt yourself, whether you belong, whether you can do this or not. In those times, it's really important to remind yourself of all the things that you've accomplished in the past. You've passed organic chemistry, you've passed all your step exams, and you matched. So you just trust the process and put in the hard work, and you'll get through all the tough moments of intern year too. And snacks. Always keep snacks in your pocket. Hey guys, I was asked to give some advice today. So I want to talk about the value of time. So throughout residency, obviously you're spending a lot of hours in the hospital and you're going to be extremely busy during that time. But I think it's really important that for yourself, you value finding a creative outlet or something that you could spend time on that you really enjoy because it's those experiences that really make the residency process much more doable. So. Uh, my advice to you is, again, find something that you really love to do, something creative, something you enjoy, something that makes you happy, because you're going to be spending a lot of time with patient care, a lot of time studying, a lot of times taking care of the needs of others. You also have to create that time to take care of your own needs. My two pieces of advice for intern year. First of all, it would be um, relax when you can. I know this is something that's mentioned through every stage of our career and it seems impossible to achieve, but not just the vacation blocks that you plan out really well, but even the small little pockets of time you have, make sure you spend it doing the things that, you know, relax you and make you feel rested. Um, Cause I think that contributes very directly into the kind of energy you bring um, around the teams you work with in the hospital. Uh, the second thing would be, <clears throat> be very proactive about your learning. I'm sure so many of you have this skill. You made it through medical school. A lot of that was uh, figuring out what worked for you and doing it. It's going to be a lot of the same here. You don't really have the same kind of time carved into your schedule. So 
uh, use whatever bit of time you do in the hospital well. Um, Cause I think it is very difficult to come home and study. You can do it, it's just hard to do. So when you are seeing a patient, try to read up on that condition. So the next time you see that pathology, it feels even a little bit more familiar. And um, then you'll obviously have wonderful attendings, wonderful senior residents that will fill in whatever experience they've had. And, and I think that's really valuable as well, but be proactive. Intern here. It will be very hard, first of all, but again, just one day at a time and you can do it. And the most important thing, like learn about finance because nobody teaches us that. And once you start making money, like you should better know like what you are doing with your money. Just don't waste it. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to his channel. Good luck. And I'll see you in my next video. Shalom.